ahead and call the meeting of the personnel committee for August 27th to order. Mr. Cullen, if you would lead us in the invocation, please. Lord, you ask uh, that you watch over us, guide us, and help us make some good decisions tonight, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance, Pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Suzanne, show uh, members Adrian Thompson and Oliver Joseph absent, please. Uh, next item on the agenda is uh, number three for ethics training for boards and commissions and appointees. Uh, the idea and concept behind this gentleman is to make it mandatory for everyone serving on a board or a committee of the parish to attend ethics training. Uh, they're serving on a parish board, so most of them have something to do with funds and so forth and so on in order to make it uh, them aware of what their responsibilities are and where they may get into trouble by certain actions that they may or may not take. Uh, and when we do do that, uh, our legal counsel, Ms. Manda, is going through some training in the next week or so on the new disclosure laws that came out of the uh, legislative session this past time, and they will be updated on if and how it affects them at that point in time. Uh, and I'd like to see that training be mandatory and we'll, we'll schedule them, talking to Ms. Manda, we can schedule enough sessions to where everybody will have plenty of opportunities to attend and it shouldn't be any burden on their schedules to try to get them to that. But we want to make sure they're educated and they know what their, what their obligations are so we don't get them in any kind of trouble. Are we able to do that in-house, Mr. Chairman? I believe we are in talking to her. Either she will conduct the training herself okay. or she will uh, work with the district attorney's office to have one of our legal counsel. And being as a voluntary commission, there's going to be no cost to them, correct? will be no okay. cost to them. That's fine. Be, uh, everything that we supply for them yeah. and any handouts that they may come up with will be provided to them. It's That's just good. basically going to be a, a couple of hours out of their time to go it's through the, the same training we went through. Yeah. yeah. Not quite as in-depth because, yeah. you know, their exposure is not quite as near as what ours is, but uh, they, they do need... The, the training that's uh, pertinent to their their service to the community. You need a motion to move on. I would like to see that to send it to the full council and, and elect them bring motion. it up and discuss it. Yes, we've got a motion by uh, Mr. Lambert, second by Mr. Cullen, to uh, do the training for our commissions and board members. Any discussion? Any opposition? Hearing none. Motion passes. All right. Uh, Next, we have interviews to conduct for our various boards and commission. We'll need to go into a uh, session to do that. Do we want to adjourn first? Yes, we'll need to adjourn. I have a motion to adjourn uh, the, this meeting, and then we'll move into interviews. I'll second that motion. We've got a motion by Mr. Lambert, second by Mr. Cullen to adjourn so we can conduct interviews for various boards and commissions. Any discussion? Meeting adjourned. Thank you.